Sarah, can you talk about uh, having DeMarco Murray as a coach? What he taught you that maybe gave you an advantage to get to this point? You know, DeMarco was a big, important piece for me. He's kind of the reason I went to Oklahoma. I felt like him playing the game at a high level, uh, he could teach me a lot about being a pro in this league, like what it takes to be a pro, um, what I need to do to get better to get to this level. And was there one thing in particular that really stood out to you? You know, the most important thing I took from him is just being a pro every single day. No matter what's going on, everybody has something going on, and you have to be on your P's and Q's every single day. You got a rep today, and then you, and then you talked to Brian for a little bit. What did he talk to you about after that? You know, he was just talking to me, you know, more so about um, defining my routes, making sure I'm doing everything correctly, just getting me used to his style of coaching. You know, I thought you probably could have come out of Tennessee because you were excellent at Tennessee. Mm -hmm. What went into your personal decision to go to Oklahoma to say I have to work on X, Y, and Z? I need to look at more college football. So I was actually, when I left Tennessee, I was a sophomore, so I couldn't go yet. So I went to Oklahoma um, just looking looking for a new home. I feel like I could be explosive in the offense as well as, like I said earlier, with DeMarco Murray. I felt like DeMarco was the key to teaching me a lot about being successful in this league. What was that first year like, in, just reading about you, you didn't seem like you got as many reps as you wanted mm -hmm. that first year there. Yep. What was that like to have to deal with that? And mm -hmm. how did you get through with that to get to, the, obviously, you had a great year last year. Right. Um, that year was definitely adversity for me, but I uh, learned a lot in that time. You know, I grew mentally, I grew spiritually in that time, learning that you just got to keep working, keep going, and it's going to pay off one day for you. My dad had a saying during that time that was like, you can't keep a good man down. So I knew if I kept working, kept going hard, that I would ultimately be where I am. What, what are like maybe a couple of very like, specific things that Marco taught you that you're like, wow, I never thought of that. That's, that's a really interesting <laughs> expertise that I maybe wouldn't have gotten from right. someone who's not like a, a massive expert. Right. Well, you know him playing the game. It's different from when you're actually out there. So he knows about being playing in the flow, playing during the in the heat of the battle, being out there, knowing fronts, knowing coverage. He taught me a lot about you know reading the defense before the play happens, reading it pre-snap to give you a feel on where the ball is going to hit or in protection maybe. You know, everybody talks about the position. Um, I want you to rank this these skill set that you need to play running back at a high level: okay. vision, footwork, balance, speed. Well, which one is you know the first one for you? It's vision first, vision, footwork, speed, balance. In your mind, what came together last year to, to, to make it your most successful year? I would think my mindset, you know, going into that year saying I wanted this to be my last year. I wanted to go out there and give my all and kind of have that season, put it all together and have that season that I wanted to have. You know, the previous year, like I talked about, was that adversity year, but I learned a lot in that time and I knew coming to the next year that if I just stick to my cues, stick to my coaches, stay um, close to my teammates, that it would happen for me. And, and how hard did you, you didn't play in there the bowl game, right? Mm -hmm. How hard is it to to make that decision? You know, it's a hard decision because you think about you, you go out there with a team from January all the way to December. So you go, you gel with your teammates. You're there for a long time, working together. You're in you're in Smitty's workouts for a long time. So just to, it was at that time it was a hard decision for me. But my coaches ultimately said that it was the best decision for me. Eric, when you um think about your position you play, it's a valuable position. But in the league, as you see, if some of the guys don't get drafted as high, mm -hmm. um, you know, you're not up to this yet, but sometimes right. they don't get paid as much, right. you know. Right. I mean, what, what is the value of a running back in, um, you know, do you like the position? I mean, you want to yeah. play a different position and, you know, do different <laughs> things? I think it's a very valuable position. Uh, you look at today's game, you look at um, just the different running backs in the league, and you think about how important they are to the offense. You know, they got to learn protections. They got to learn the passing game. They have to know what everyone's doing. So, in my opinion, it's a very valuable position that can make a, a lot of money. And do you think, I mean, you know, you're a, a, a third-day pick. You know, um, there are third-day picks that in running backs who do well. Right. Um, do you look thinking of yourself as a third-day pick that wants to do well, or do you look at yourself as – no, no, that's not a definition of what I think. Yeah. No, I don't look at it that way. I'm just looking at, you know, my opportunity here. My opportunity, I'm here now. First day, second day, third day, that's all out of the window. I'm here now. Um, got a chance to be in a special place like this, so I'm happy about it. What do you, what your, what do you make of eventual at some point, obviously, being a teammate of Saquon? You know, that's uh, um, he's a great player. Had a lot of success in this league, so I plan on learning a lot from him in the room. You got a chance to speak to him yet? Or no, I haven't. I haven't. What, what have you kind of made of, you know, it's obviously, whirlwind right you're here right after you get drafted kind of what is what you kind of impression has it made like what kind of what has kind of stood out to you about being here like being on a professional field mm -hmm. in a professional uh, environment and everything you know it's been a, a lot of emotions you know like yesterday being on the NFL field and I was walking on I was like wow like the Giants really like I'm really in the NFL now it's been it's been unbelievable you know to you think about coming all the way from me coming all the way from Little League to now it's it's flown by and it's 
it's a blessing to be here. Kareem Moore. Did you, hit, you got to play with Jalen at Tennessee, right? I did, I did. What stuck out with you from him? I mean, obviously, we all talk about mm -hmm. the speed. Is that what yes. stood to you? Yes, 100%. When he came in as a freshman, that's what you knew. Like, soon as first work out, his speed. His speed is what, what he's good at. That's his strength, his speed. So definitely noticed that from the first day. I'm sure you probably kept an eye on Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did you think of it? Did you watch that Alabama game? or then, And what did you think when you I think we actually, I don't remember who we played, but we played an early game that day, and I went, me and my whole family watched the entire game, and I was rooting for him. I was rooting for him the whole way. I had a lot of teammates that played it that were still on that team, so I was happy for him. What did you think about what he did in that game? Obviously, that was a big-time performance. Unbelievable. Like, I was I was watching it live, so I was like, wow, Jalen's doing his thing tonight. Did you feel any fun today? But, yes, I did. I did. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have any one. question, you know, when you look at the you know, way you stack up, height, weight, speed, all those things, you know, you can't tell yet mm -hmm. this, you know, but do you have any doubt that your physical abilities will translate to the NFL? I think football is football, in my opinion. I think you go out there, you work hard, you do what it takes on and off the field, and you let your body take over when you get out there.